In the last section, we installed the React Fire plugin. There's actually one more library that we need here. Let's go ahead and install it with npm install dash dash save Firebase. Firebase's actual module that will communicate with firebase.com and exchange data back and forth. So we are just about ready to make use of this inside of our application, but first let's do a little bit of architecting on our app first. I'm going to pull on a mock-up for our app, and we're going to figure out what the best way to divvy up all these different components into our different files and uh, different components are. So we'll definitely need a main component as a starting place for the entire app. So kind of like an overall overarching component that's going to hold several other components. This main component will render the top header, a new component for adding a new to-do, and a list component for showing a list of to-dos. The new component right here will not have any children or nested views, but the list component will probably, probably hold many children, one component for each to-do. So let's go ahead and put pen to paper and get started. Eventually, Main is, will also be responsible for fetching data from Firebase.com as well, but we'll get to that shortly. Inside of app.jsx, let's go ahead and remember that right now, app is only responsible for rendering the application to the DOM. Really just that kind of startup, toss it in the DOM, and we're good to go. Now that we're using React Fire, however, we're going to introduce one additional responsibility for app. It's also going to be responsible for loading and fetching our data and passing it down to our other components that it renders as children. So to let app know about Firebase and give it that additional functionality, we're going to include two modules here. First, React Fire, which will be require React Fire, and Firebase, which will require from Firebase, like so. React Fire is the library that's going to be the kind of communication layer between Firebase and React, our actual React components. Firebase, on the other hand, is what's responsible for reaching out to Firebase.com and syncing our data up. It's what's doing that actual communication for us. So now that we have these two libraries imported into app.jsx, let's finish our Firebase hookup inside of the next section.